It's always tricky getting this computer open as I have to unscrew, I have to flip, do so many things. Just to give you an idea of what my Note 202 looked like, it was quite tight in there. Let's continue on. Take out the SSD. So actually for Node 202, you're supposed to mount SSD inside of this cage. But if you do that, then there's a one SSD this way and then the other one mounted like so. And then the SATA connection and the power connection is going to be really difficult, all of them being routed in a different direction. There's no cable for such and it's really tight in that junction. So what I've done is I just basically mount it in outside. There's actually a little notch that's been cut out here. I don't actually exactly know what that is for. I think it is just to tie down the cables and actually I just kind of cut that away and then mounted my SSD on top so that it is just routed outside. So if you're wishing to have one SSD and one more. In my case, I actually used to have a hard drive as well, and I can have both of them oriented the same way, but that is no two to tip. Okay, let's take out the motherboard. I wonder if the power connector is gonna be long enough. So let me just put these components back. So I guess that's the end of my first custom build computer case. Time to get the CPU cooler off, clean the CPU, and then mount the new cooler on it. So anyone who's attempting to clean out your CPU, you can use alcohol wipes and a coffee filter, and that will do the trick. And I need this little tool. A thermal paste was applied there, so I just need to replace that. I'm not gonna worry about this one for now. I'm gonna try and clean out the CPU first. Use coffee filter, wipe off any residue that's left there. And I'm gonna use the same wipe to just wipe this part too. Why not? And I'm just gonna wipe down some other areas of the motherboard that has collected some dust. Here is the new cooler in this orientation and then the cooler is going to mount something like that. Okay, got to find the right bracket. Maybe it is time for reading the manual. Alright, so Intel LGA1151, it is supposed to be... The right size is the general understanding. Okay, let's put the motherboard. It does have the standoff on the right spot. So I'm just gonna put them in. How do I take out the front panel? I believe it is just snapped in. All right. And there is a dust filter as well. It is a little bit tighter than I would like it to be. How should I mount? these onto the radiator. I'm just sort of mocking it up because I'm not sure if that's all gonna fit and connect well. Make sure the direction is correct. The fans really feel high quality, so I'm liking them. Let's see how the noise levels are. 
I think it's okay to just hand tighten all the fans onto radiator because these got rubber pads on them. Maybe I should rotate the CPU cooler. I'm feeling a little bit nervous about how far it is. So I'm just gonna rotate 180 degree. All right, give it a little wiggle that is in. All right, that's a lot better. Okay, they are all in. Power supply, I need the bracket. And I do have some screws. And I need to find out the optimum position so that I allow the most amount of airflow. And then it would have to be oriented like this. Okay, power supply is in. 24 pin connector can reach, which is a good thing. I was slightly concerned that 24 pin connector wouldn't be able to reach, but I think it would be able to clear the GPU as well. It will be a tight fit, I think. Otherwise, I can kind of keep the power supply loose until I get my hands onto the extender of 24 pin. I've got to undo these PCIe slot screws. In goes the graphics card. Yeah, there's no way that's gonna reach. I'll have to keep the power supply loose for now. All right, everything good. All right, time to flip to the back and do some cable management along with connecting SSD. So this is the second part of this video. I actually have been using this machine as everything works well. It's just that the power cables were not configured or routed properly since I just didn't have the extension cables and the cables did not reach the parts correctly. I can attest that the machine works great. Actually, the thermals are great. Even if I push it really hard, it's not going up more than 65 degrees and it is silent i can't really hear much of the machine it is all great it's just that i know inside this power supply is not even mounted because i just didn't have enough of length of the cable to go around on the back and connect to here so simple extension cable package that i got from amazon a black version so there's 24 pin cable and other cables as well and it is all black and i believe it was costing somewhere around 30 dollars it's got some good weight to it too so i'm liking the quality i like these braided cables over the rubber cables it also has shipped with the cable combs you're supposed to comb your cables and nicely organize i'll attempt that once I have configured everything and I've got to undo the other side of the case as well because I'm going to be routing things behind as well. So let me get rid of that side panel. You can mount 2.5 inch drive, two of them here, and you can also mount 3.5 hard drive in here too. I haven't really opted into that just yet since I don't really need additional storage at the moment, but it's good to know that I can do that if I need more storage inside of this machine. Okay, first of all, let's undo all the power cables. I think it will be easier if I just kind of look down this way. Let's tackle the easiest ones first, the GPU cables. I hate working with these 24 pin cables. They're always so difficult to get out. And again, it was important to mount the power supply away from GPU so it has more breathing room. And I can only do that because I have SFX power supply. Okay, that is in. I just gotta route all of these cables to the back. So if I push from this side, you'll see on the other side. And then route all other cables from back to front again after connecting the extension cables. What a mess this is. All the cables on the front are connected, but I've just got to connect all the ones in the back. Let's do that part, shall we? Here's what I was able to come up with. I don't know how well you can see 
that everything else is quite clean out here too. So it's gonna allow maximum airflow. So I am quite satisfied with how this turned out to be. So let's close up the side panel on the other side, hoping that everything will fit. I'm not gonna lie, it's quite a tight fit. I can even see a little bulge that's happening here, but that's all right. It closed up. Let me power it up and let me show you how it kind of lights up as well. All right, power cable is connected. Moment of truth. It seems like posting and working just fine. I wanted you to see, and I can feel quite a lot of air coming this way. There's not much sound and I'm really liking that. And if I remove the back panel, there's actually a switch that I can control the RGB with. So you can either blink, breathing mode, different colors as well. But I prefer the blue, so. And I'd rather have just a solid color. So I'm just gonna leave it at solid color like that. And then I can also control the brightness. So I'm just gonna keep it as dark as possible. And so far on my thermal testing, the highest temperature I've hit with the CPU is 65 degrees. And that is a ton of difference from 95 degrees, which is probably thermal throttling at that point. So I can enjoy the maximum performance for the longer period of time and it is much quieter system. And this PC was purpose built for architecture because I needed a powerful GPU which introduced a lot of heat into the machine and then I need a CPU that has higher clock speed. So I have built this machine based on the specs that I need and I had been upgrading this machine a few times to accommodate what I need. So what you're seeing is Blue 4.0, which I'm gonna call. I hope you have enjoyed this journey as well, because I really did. And if you did like it, please like and subscribe to my channel for contents like this. And thank you so much for watching as always. I'll see you next time. Bye.